One of the greatest strengths of New College of Florida is that we cultivate students who are independent thinkers and effective advocates. So we're grateful to New College graduates Maria Simmerling, Eugenia Quintanilla, and Dwight Mann for initiating a review of our admissions process with regard to applicants who disclose a disability or a mental illness. We also appreciate the Board of Governors Inspector General for conducting a thorough review and offering recommendations in a report they released today. This report finds that our now former Dean of Enrollment Management instructed admissions staff to engage in practices that potentially discriminated against the applicants who disclosed mental health related issues in the personal essay part of their application. As a result, the report concludes the college's application process potentially discriminated against these applicants. I'm deeply embarrassed and I'm absolutely committed to right these wrongs. We pride ourselves on attracting and serving diverse, intellectually curious students, and that includes students with mental health concerns. We're reaching out to multiple independent groups with expertise in disability and mental health issues, as well as our peer institutions in the state university system to consult on our admissions processes as it relates to applicants who disclose a mental health issue. We'll also solicit feedback from our own new college community to make sure that we fully accommodate their needs for mental health and disability services. New College intends to set a new standard among Florida's public universities for fostering a culture that not only respects, protects, and encourages diversity, but one that is truly inclusive. We intend to become a state and national model in the way that we treat applicants and students with disabilities. You can find multiple resources, more information, and a link to the community survey on our website. I invite your input and engagement as we move through this process. Thank you.